I'm so glad you think that. <laughs> All, All right. right. Here we go. We got Pete Bro versus Pete Dog. You can do it. And it's going to be Pokemon Trainer versus Mega Man. This matchup is kind of annoying uh, because, like, Mega Man has a lot of uh, options to, like, get you stuff out. But, I mean, like, if, you, if you're just going to run into three up tilts in a row, then, I mean... It doesn't need to get that much deeper, honestly. Mm -mm -mm. So, so what's the ideal Pokemon to use in this match in particular? This one is like a, it. It takes like a pretty decent mix of them because Mega Man is kind of heavy. Uh, like I think Squirtle kind of struggles against him because Squirtle has to get close and personal, while all the like the Leaf Shield can be pretty annoying. So like you might see a little bit more Ivysaur in this sort of matchup, because uh, like Mega Man's not super fast and doesn't have like super high pressure, so Ivysaur gets some breathing room and is able to like move and breathe. Oh my. So, yeah, but right now, you know, Peepro's doing a pretty good job uh, kind of just maintaining center. And you jumped after the, the up air? <laughs> Don't do that. That's the last thing you want to do. You really died off the top. <laughs> Tragic. Yeah. yeah, Peter Bro is doing a great job of just maintaining space. Just covering the platforms every time. Uh, every time Trainer tries to evade. Yeah, see, he's got the, the Leaf Shield to cover the side plat. Okay. An attempt on Ooh, Flare Blitz. Getting a little bit desperate there. But, I mean, like, if he's able to get the kill, like, now, then he'll not be in the worst position, because never mind. Doesn't matter. You're uh, dead. <laughs> what? No, get it. Alright, cool. He didn't immediately snap to the ledge because he just got hit, and even though it's a tether, it still applies to the 55 frame rule where you can't grab the ledge after taking a hit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Peter Burrow's having some fun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it can be tough to fight Mega Man as Charizard, just because Charizard's a big boy, and uh, Mega Man's moves aren't exactly, like, small. Like, they're going to be pretty sweeping and stuff. Thank you for the follow. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and, I mean, Pete Dog is just having a real tough time getting in on Pete Bro. Uh, Zam. Yeah, this just looks devastating. Look at that. I gotta say, one thing I really like about Pete Bros play here is every time. Oh, nice kill. Uh, every time you have someone like Pokemon Trainer off stage, especially as like Ivy, for example, you mm -hmm. really want to be cautious. Um, in this case, <sighs> it's like kind of the opposite. It's like Peter Bro is the one that's dominating the off stage, which is kind of interesting. And oh, nice link. Okay. That was perfect to the back here, catching those jumps away. All right, so Pete Bro going to be taking uh, game one. Let's see that. Yeah, just kind of just clean there. And, you know, here's the first stock. It was just, you know, the really unfortunate, like, jump. Like, why? Uh, I think he didn't realize that he got hit by, like, the last part of it. But still, just air dodge. Like, there's no... just. There really is no excuse to jump there. There's no line of thinking. Just don't jump there. Um, it, is, it may have been buffered. It may have been like autopilot. And I forgot I'm playing Mega Man. And you hit your head and you're like, oh, right, duh. And then you died. <laughs> but, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, so no, no character swap. Uh, and uh, I think we're going back to Battlefield? No, we're going to PS2. Okay, let me. I think it's a good choice for Pete Dog's point because we saw a lot of time that whenever Pete Dog was creating the platform, Pete Bro was kind of just ready for it. 
So kind of having that middle space between the plaques yeah. can be really beneficial. And, and, and what you just saw there was just like taking advantage of the fact that, you know, like he was trying to get a combo going, but Pipro kept in mind that's like, hey, if he messes this up and he has to reset at the ground at all, I'll just use my up tilt, which is just, you know, super strong, and I'll just get a like nice good combo break on Squirtle. And now we're seeing the swap to Ivysaur. I mean, Pipro's already put on quite a quite a bit of damage. Ooh. 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 Good recovery. Yeah, so much relentless pressure from Pipro. It's like every time P Dog tries to get out of or just try to get pressure and just gets hit by another projectile and can be very frustrating for PT to go through that. Yeah. At the very least, at, at, the, at least this current moment, we're go it's already looking a little bit more even. And yeah, the whiff on the up tilt is going to eat a big, big punish from Charizard forward smash. So we're actually doing way better than game one uh, for Pete Dog. Uh, Pete Pro is going to have to, you know, make a few adjustments, try and keep that, that, that stranglehold. Uh, not to give him any sort of chance. So, and I, I don't know. I, I feel like you know, Pito kind of trying to like stay Squirtle. It hasn't really gone too well. Like, granted, he hasn't had much time at, to like really try Squirtle, but that's because he just racks up damage. Uh, he just gets damage on himself, which in, isn't really good. So, seeing the swap off to Ivysaur, and oh my God, quite a lot happening with like catching uh, the miss tech on the bounce from the down air. Ooh. Yeah, and I shot covering the mistech with Ivy, and then up there to take out that stock. Mm -hmm. Ivy was really pulling through. Alright. Nice follow from Ooh. here. Ooh, I like that reset for the grab attempt, but it just was a few frames off, honestly. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, P-Dog has the right idea. Just, like, keep out with Razor Leaf. Every time you go in with the Nair, always push forward. Get the next follow-up. Yeah. All right. So now Pete Bro evening up the stocks. Uh, actually, really good adjustments by Pete Talk by, you know, for, for a little bit, taking a, a lead there. But Pete Bro evening it up and now also evening up the percentages, taking a small lead, actually going quite Jeez. fast, catching the roll with that up smash. Just look at all this pressure. It's like yeah. side B into F smash, into metal blade, into leaf shield. <laughs> And then he just threw out the, the up tilt mid neutral, because why not? Uh. Ooh. Okay. Right. He's off stage. Nice. Uh, unfortunate. So he did forward smash, but he got interrupted by one of the lemons and didn't realize it. So he just kind of stood there and went, please hit me. <laughs> oh, right. careful. Back uh, oh, I mean, grab. I kind of understand why uh, he wasn't trying to just auto react and do up smash out of shield because if if Mega Man had did uh, a retreating one instead of a cross up one, then up smash wouldn't have caught it. And uh, I don't, I think he would have been able to maybe follow up. Uh oh, now oh, that's it. Ooh, nice catch. That's unfortunate. That was a nice adjustment, and then. Yeah. Pro kind of just was like, yeah, but I still have projectiles. Yeah, check out my projectiles. Yeah, it was just like when he missed that first F smash, uh, he was just like, okay, I'm going to try again now. But yeah, see how much la lag he had from the cooldown of the up smash where he was able to roll in and then do uh, his own up smash. So, yeah. Yeah, here we were like, I think we were going to, I, at least I was thinking we we're going to see a little bit more of the same. Because uh, like Pipro took the lead here, um, you know, while Pete Dog had definitely done a much better job in contrast to Game One, uh, it was getting a little spooky. But um, was able to, you know, take advantage. You know, that that's a really big deal. Uh, making sure you punish a whiff like that, and uh, just keeping things uh, competitive. Then over here, we get a nice, a pretty good, solid jump read here, where it just kind of just goes, uh, boom, get out of here. That was an exciting set. Very yeah. explosive. So, the next match is going to be uh, Nick Zero versus Quickman.
Ooh, Quick Man. Oh, I actually know Quick Man personally. Do you know uh, where he he's is... from? Do you know where he plays? Oh, uh, New Jersey. Okay. Um, he's he's a Mega Man and a Snake player. Recently, okay. more Snake. Uh, he's been working a lot on his movements. Uh, he posts a lot of like Twitter clips of him just like learning the character, learning how to maneuver. Um, I fought him in bracket before, uh, and in friendlies, 